Hello there, darlings. I'm Wendy G. Kennedy. And it's time for me to do some imitations. It's part two. Let's see who can imitate uh, Maria. Okay. I'm going to imitate Maria for a moment. Okay, you ready? Hi, guys. I'm Maria. I'm your Wendy coordinator. I know my business. I've been doing this for a long time. I do not believe in the fairy tale called love. I believe in the green mean in green, yes. The mean green. You know what the mean green means? The mola. Because I don't believe. But some people want to believe. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? No? Yeah. Maybe not like that's my best, but I'll be practicing. Maria Bata. Let's see. Let's do another one with Dana. This one I got some too much. Hello. I'm Dana. You see, I am the French Quarter uh, musician. I have a band. Uh, we travel all over the country. I do blues. I sing blues. I sing blues. So, I uh, actually, I've been uh, able to be in uh, different places in society. I'm very, very happy, very very excited to be the musician here in this fantastic place called the First Quarter Wedding Chapel. Check me out, I also perform all throughout the French Quarter at the moment. I can play the guitar, piano, organ, ukulele, you name it. Because it's here. I'm telling you that I love music. The music loves me. And I love you. Oh, okay, so I'll put a little Wendy in it. So. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, my sister Monica. Hold on, let me put a little something in there. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Um, um, um. Monica Sinclair, can it come on to you? I know it. You know, it might be perfect, but I'm just kind of like, yeah. <clears throat> Here you go. Oh. Hello, baby, boss. <coughs> Uh, how you doing? Uh, well, you know, I am a Monica Sinclair Kennedy. You know, I've been in this entertainment industry for about uh, 12 years of my life. And now you know, I'm going to tell you something, baby. <laughs> I love it. I love my performance. I love to be on stage. Stage is my life, my passion, baby. That's right. What? I'm telling like it is, baby. Now, when you see me on stage, better dig me home. So otherwise, I want to, I don't want to even look in the face and look at you cheap hoe. Hmm. <laughs> and who? I love you kitties, because you see, I'm Monica Sinclair Kennedy. I love you all, despite everything. I prefer for love, and love is my passion. Oh, never mind, That's, that was kind of me. Nah, it's not kind of me, no. I got to practice that one. I, my favorite is my mama. Raven. Raven Kennedy. Hi, Kenny. How you doing? I am Raven Kennedy. I'm from the house of Kennedy Darlings. I've been performing for about 25 years, Darlings. That's right. A lot of the world. Well, not really, but. Feels like it sometimes. And, you know, I have to, uh, occasion, I like to recruit or adopt new up-and-comers. And, of course, my crazy, uh, daughter, Wendy, always trying to imitate me. That's always small. Like, oh, did I say that? Oh, what? I might have meant Stop it, I've been in the circuit for 25 years, darlings. I know plenty of their big stars and so on and whatever. And I'm here for a long run, so... I'm going to step aside, ho, stop it and be crying about that all the tips I... Ah, 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 Miss Raven is stealing my tips. Ah, ah, ho. I ain't stealing no tips from nobody. The fans love me just like I love them. And that's the bottom line, because Raven Kennedy said so. What? <laughs> anyway, some of talk like that sometimes. I just made that happen a little bit. It's a little bit of windy in there. A little bit of wrestling going on there too. 
Then you got these coca mesa, but I'm not hitting it right now because I'm gonna just edit that material. But so they went, I want it to. This coca, please don't beat me. <laughs> now I gotta do this here. You got me see this Eddie's de L'Oreal. Hello. I miss this. I've been filming for a long time. I'm so happy. Um, you know, I miss. I'm your new tiara and your crown. I miss Black Universe. And it took me a very long time to be on this stage of my life. I've reached a new plateau. And I'm doing it. And I continue doing it. Thank you for all your love and support. Love you all. End scene. <laughs> I was a short thing, whatever. So, uh, if you have any questions or if you're gonna request and say, I want you to imitate this hoe right here, and then let me know. Oh, let me do another one. Mona Love from Tain. Hopefully, I do it better this time. Close on that one. Uh, let's see. Um. <clears throat> and girls. I am Mona Lot from the Lady Daddies. I've been around for a long time. I bring capital E on entertainment. And I am here to entertain you. <laughs> yeah. I love when she's a great girl. Great gal. Baby, if you listen to this, you're watching this video. I want to paint your face, honey. I want to make your friends. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of sounds alone for a moment. I uh, do. Can't you imagine a movie with slide and drag? Like, yeah, yeah, I do. And then, like, you know, playing this role, like, John Sloan is going undercover. I'm going undercover. Yeah. To, to uh, infiltrate in the ring of prostitution. And then comes out of that little closet or something. <gasps> oh, it's like I'm out of the closet. Not that closet, but... <laughs> anyway, I call it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the... Uh, thick, huh? You got a name for that? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, listen to that. Uh, I'm a Priscilla. Okay. A uh, Priscilla, I'm going on the street like this. We're going gonna to dig this deep. I want to get in deep. Cause I want to go deep, brother. I'm going to go and find that. Who killed that hoe? <laughs> Good luck with that one. <laughs> Woo! Uh, do you imagine Nicholas Cage in drag? Hey, what do you think about this? Huh? Hey, tell me, I mean, do I look sexy or what? Huh? Do I look sexy? Do you like it? So I'm going on the cover like this, you know? I don't know, that'd be terrible. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. I mean, I don't even sound like him for a moment, but... Nicholas Cage. In drag. <laughs> Am I Jack Black in drag? Ooh! Little Thomas. You know? A man's got to dress up like a woman sometimes. Lord, Lord, in imitations and I can do some hard for you, Lord. Can you mind what The Rock already did some segments for Saturday Night Live at LTA, if I remember correctly, in drag. Can you imagine The Rock in drag? I mean, like, let's have, like, a, he comes to the WWE and big fun fair and all that, and I uh, gets to stick my with John Cena, and John Cena says, Well, I tell you what, Rock, I'm going to take your challenge, but... One stipulation. The loser, the loser of the match gets to wear drag. Gets to be a drag queen or an act. And then, of course, you'll see the wins the match. Can you imagine the rock and drag? And it's, oh, oh, better yet. Better yet. The rock is to wrestle and drag until he wins the next match. And everybody cheats on the rock. Oh, you can look so hot and drag. I'm pretty sure he, Hey, just a man! Oh, boy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right. What? I 
you've never seen the rock and drag before? Of course you have not. This is humiliating. Here I am, the Brahma bull, the people's champion. When I raise my hand, the people will thank me. That's okay. The rest of must have changed. The look may have changed somehow. But the rock is going to tell you like this. It's going to tell you like it is. I'm the same Brahma bull, nobody. If, you look, if I look pretty and sexy and all perky and pretty and very feminine. But the rocket's got something to say, I'm going to say it right now. The rocket's going to win this next match, and I'm telling you because the rocket's not built to be a hermaphrodite or a drag queen or a transvestite. The rocket's a man. And the rocket's going to win this match. You know why? Because the rock has a plan, and the plan is going to come true. If you smell! And you know the rest. <laughs> it's just got to live with Canada. Can you imagine Hulk Hogan in drag? Oh my god. I'm losing the mass feminist mustache of the villain. Let me tell you something, brother. I look good in drag, brother. <laughs> what you gonna do, me? What you gonna do with a new Hulkster? The dude who looks like a lady, man. On his 24 inch pythons, destroy you. Ah! Come on, come on. I don't know, sometimes I get that like class and you die around, but it's all about this entertainment. Uh, and the time will turn a hole. Until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Come on.